So this sure. is the this is the hand uh, the padding that we came up. We got somebody to do a foam injection on it. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so once that was done, uh, the handrails were sent out to be uh, foam injected. The cars were complete. The only thing that was missing was the handrail. Mm -hmm. So we sent the cars out, and they said, "Send them out primer. Don't paint them. Send them out primer." Hmm. So they went out, primer gray. And when I got to the park, all the handrails were done, and we had them shipped to the park. I went out and put all the handrails in the cars. Hmm. Uh, myself and two hmm. other employees, they were there installing ski ball machines because we used to own ski ball. Mm -hmm. uh, huh. So they were they were there, and I was there, and they helped me. I got the handrails in, and I had to do all the setups with the, the locking mechanisms mm -hmm. to, make, to make them work. But when I got there, they here they had painted the cars in this blend kind of a color. It was like yeah. red to yellow, to red. yellow, orange, and each car it faded into the next color, and it was kind of cool yeah. looking. Mm -hmm. But they just decided that it was too expensive to put that gold leaf on the sides of the cars <laughs> with people kicking and climbing over the seats to get in and stuff. So. Did the car still yeah. exist, or did they tear it down no, after that, the trade that, show? No, that car. I think they just took off all the paint and uh, because they they ordered I think it was 20 cars and uh, they ran them so yeah and then they didn't just hide it and, no that car was actually went to King's Island mm -hmm. so, so it just went you did took it apart and put it the way the color scheme is now because they re um, redid the color scheme for they the painted the whole color scheme we ah. did we did uh. nothing but primer them when they left here so well, I remember they did a reverse thing with Son of Beast, it was, it was, instead of yellow, starting at yellow in the front and going through red, it was red in the front and yellow to the back, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Or as vice versa, I remember that reverse. I never even wrote it. I saw it, and I just... Like, well, when I, well, right. well, when I was there, when I finally got there, it was the new blue, the lighter blue trains. That when they took out the loop, they replaced yeah. them from a category, Hurricane Category 5, I think is what the name was, it was in Myrtle Beach. At the uh, pavilion, I'm not for sure if it's the um, right one. It was Hurricane Category Five on um, the beach pavilion or something like that. I'm not positive. Okay. It was like all they were blue, like the Thunderhawk, like the Thunderhawk train. Yeah, and it was good, just completely bald. It, it, it's. It was not no no decorations on it, nothing. It was just a regular train. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that's better. Yeah, well, Mean, mean Street did the same thing with just being one being well classified as gold, but it was like this yellowish orange. They still have the, gr the, the green tra a green train and a red train. They still have the uh, a, well a car uh, from Mean Street, the green car. Going to Tampa Bay? Yeah, it's one of the cars out of there that uh, an ace member was able to get a hold of and uh, huh. belongs to Ace. Mm. Ace. It, so. it, it looks like it's a corkscrew coaster car. I, I think it was a hanging coaster. I'm not sure that was a hanger. Or, I don't think that's the one that was a hanger. It looked uh, like an aero car. Yeah, aero corkscrew. Aero, aerodynamic car. Yeah. Yeah, some of these cars, like I said, belong to uh, American Coaster Enthusiasts and other ones belong to me. Uh, I've collected like this this Dory car. I collected them. I uh, got it from the park. I'm saving them. <laughs> I'm storing them uh, for Ace when they ever decide they're going to build a museum. So <laughs> or if they ever get it, I've tried to help out that, but I only do so much. Yeah. yeah. Again, um, trying to think. Uh, actually, another one I noticed is the, this one that looks like it's two trains. It, Two two cars. What which one is this? Or two cars? Uh, never mind. I, I, this? Yeah. That's just a chassis from a three seat show the, car we used to do. Three seat show car. Yeah. It looked like an uh, aerodynamic car underneath this car. Uh, the the this steel one? track? No, we the, built this. Yeah. Oh. This this is for uh, this was our our uh, prototype that we built for uh, Amarillo, Texas, Ooh. for the ah. uh, who, uh, Wonderland Wonderland Park. Right. Um, their double looping coaster. Um, Odie Hopkins had gone out of business, and the park asked us if we could build a train for them. 
Um, I know exactly which one you're talking about. It's the one with the weird looking loop, right? Well, it's got two loops. In yeah. It, so. Um, yeah. So we took two years to develop a coaster train that would uh, kind of look like ours, but it, it'll uh, it would do a loop. Do you guys still uh, do maintenance on your carousels, or do you, or do the parks you um, just do the maintenance instead? Parks take care of everything. They call us occasionally, and if we can find a part, or we can make the part for them, we can find the blueprint to make the part. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we still help, but. but no, parks take care of their their own carousels. Yeah. I also I saw the sign uh, in, in front, and I also noticed these guys. What the one the one car the one C trains? Is there is there any coasters with these trains on them currently? Not or? yet. No, not yet. Uh, hmm. You know, we were asked to design something and uh, come up with a train, and uh, we did, and we hmm. it it did. Uh, we had to do a cor corkscrew. So we yeah. know it works there. Ah. Uh -huh. But you know, if a park says they want to do them, we yeah. we've got them. We yep. run, we ran them at Knobles, and then we ran them out in Wisconsin. Ah. Uh -huh. So we we tested them pretty thoroughly. Yeah, because it looks pretty cool. I, I also noticed that the front is actually open, not not closed off like it usually is. Yeah. Well, that's what. People like they want to see where they're going. Yeah, they reminds uh, me of the Millennium Flyer trains that a uh, Gravity Group has. Yeah, well, GCI also does a similar train with their. I forget what they they, they call theirs. Yeah, well, it's like I said, the, the parks asked for it. You know, we've been running it on Thunderhawk for quite a while. Ah, uh, uh. these are the new trains for Thunderhawk. No, no, no. not for Thunderhawk. Ah. Uh. These, these are our show car trains. Mm. All right. we, we just pulled all the plastic off, all the all the blankets off. You can see we pulled everything out of the car. Yeah. We, we didn't go to a trade show last year because of COVID. Mm -hmm. And yeah. next month, we you know, hopefully if everything goes well, uh, we'll be <laughs> heading to the trade show in Orlando. Uh, I have a. This is all getting packed back up. Put our plants back in them. Put our literature back in. We'll shrink wrap everything. Uh, and then we pack the truck up on a Thursday, and it'll be there Saturday for us when we set up our booth. All right, nice. So there's uh, <clears throat> there one that um, I found out about in uh, the well, the Black Diamond at a at a yeah. used to be at a Jersey Shore Park called yeah. Dinosaur Beach. Well, it actually was at a amusement park called Hunts Pier, mm -hmm. and then uh, Hunts Pier got bought up by. Uh, the Maury family. So, Maury's peers. Yeah, so it was one. It was one one of Maury's peers, and they they decided they had a big farewell party for it. They invited coaster enthusiasts and they invited uh, the funhouse people, and they had uh, almost twelve hundred people show up for a day. And, they, and then they moved it to Kenobu. Then the Kenobu, yeah, they tore it huh. tore it down and tried to make it as best they could to uh, to uh, what it used to be. Mm -hmm. so, so you guys will have fun riding that one. That's <laughs> yeah. Well, the one I'm looking forward to is uh, well the Phoenix as well as Flying Turns. I wouldn't count on Flying Turns being up and running. They they uh, oh these are war cars. Yep, they, they come back for winter overhaul. Yeah, well, I'm guessing they don't. I guess saying Six Flags America does not have a haunt thing or ha or no, howl they, scream. They, they, from what I understand, they do. Uh -huh. It's just they're going to only run one train on it, and we're expecting the the, the wild one train to be in any day. Yeah. So. This is our uh, assembly disassembly shop. <laughs> All right. So uh, when we build new trains, we set them up just like you see these here. And when we do winter overhauls for people, this is where we set them up. We disassemble them all. Uh, we take every single component off of it, all the wheels, axle bearings, everything comes out. Yeah. And uh, we inspect everything 100%. And then we uh, reassemble it. The, the, the one on the back row there, five cars, that's the Zip and Pippin from uh, Wis Bay Green, Beach. Green Bay, Wisconsin, Bay Beach. Yeah, Wisconsin. These uh, six here up front are the uh, cars that go to um, uh, Kima Boardwalk. It's Boardwalk Bullet. Yeah. Boardwalk. Mm -hmm. So they're getting 
their final steps. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, see, I, I know the seats are out. How long should does the ship? Um, I mean, shipping. But how long does it should do they usually take the ship from Texas to both the way up here to Pennsylvania? About two, three days. And not bad. I don't want to know how much the shipping cost would be though. The hot seat is only like twelve, fifteen hundred dollars. I'm trying to look on these, but is the is the it is the box where uh, the gearbox or where it holds the hold, holds the um, lap bars in place is is that on is visible right now? Uh, no. 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 And that I really don't want you taking pictures of. You know, 